G'day everybody and welcome to another YouTube video review. Today we're going to be having a look at the B-Wing Fighter that uh, was brought out by um, Hasbro, or sorry, Kenner, I think this version is. Uh, this came out as the Star Wars Vintage Collection, you can see there on the packaging. Um, I don't think this is the Target exclusive one, but uh, it's definitely one that I had to uh, add to my collection. And uh, as I said, you can see the size of the box there, it's quite large, it's quite long, uh, as is the B-Wing. And... Um, this one was good too because it actually came with the uh, the fighter pilot included. It's always great when you get a figure, uh, especially with vehicles or a pilot. It saves having to go out and spend another, here in Australia, at least another $18, $20 uh, on a figure. But anyway, let's have a quick look at the box and then we'll get to the uh, the actual vehicle itself. So there's the box there. Pretty simple packaging. Uh, the main details is it just explains all the different uh, features of the vehicle. So you can see there's a fully rotating cockpit uh, that opens up. And then you can get your different figures and place them around. So there's General Akbar, Admiral Akbar there, uh, probably telling the pilot there's a trap. And then you've got, uh, you can raise and lower landing gear. And then on this side of the box, oh, sorry, you can see there we can move the wings into attack position. Uh, there's a rotation where you rotate one of the engines on the back, and that's what raises and lowers the, uh, the wings. And then you've got interchangeable launchable missiles, which was quite a nice feature. So depending on how you want to display your vehicle, um, you can change the, uh, the missiles around so there's sort of a, a long one and a, and a shorter one that uh, it's a bit more stubby that you can place on the end. So uh, all in all, that's pretty much the boxing. Actually no, this was the Kmart exclusive. There you go, things you discover when you spin the box around. So uh, this was the Kmart exclusive. So let's have a look, pardon me, moving things around, at the vehicle. So we'll start here with the pilot in the cockpit. Um, I'll try and hold, open him up. There we go. So you can see the pilot there. Uh, it's a really great pilot, actually. A fantastic figure. Usually when you get um, sort of a figure included, there's not too much detail. There's sort of the basic one. But uh, definitely came with all these attachments. He's got his, his oxygen tubes there. Uh, the detail on the helmet, the black gloves. His articulation in the arms, he's got it in the knees as well. And you can rotate his head. You can see there in the cockpit, oh, sorry. Uh, no, no details, no stickers to apply. A little bit of colouring there on some buttons, but uh, all in all just the grey with uh, the sculpted mould. Uh, hood just drops down, nice and clear. Now you can see there that he's actually swivelling. This is the, uh, the rotation uh, cockpit, so depending on how you display it, so when it's sitting flat it will sit like that, and when I hold it up he will actually swivel and rotate, which is a, a great little feature, especially just for the B-Wing itself, let alone in the vehicle. Moving down, you can see there a little bit of shading. No, not too much sort of um, battle damage. There's the odd scarring here and there. Like you can see here on the uh, paint job there. But uh, all in all, it sort of um, has this sort of aged yellow look to it. The camera's probably not picking that up. But uh, it's not sort of super duper weathered as if it's uh, been through 100,000 battles. Now you can see here we've got some missiles there. They don't fire. The same as this one down here. Uh, no firing missiles uh, there whatsoever either. Uh, it's just basically the display pieces. Now these these are the ones that you can interchange. So if you want to have the uh, the longer sort of version missiles, you just pop them out. Uh, you can see there's a little thing there. You just push it out. They will fall out, and then you can plonk in the other two uh, as well. So we'll spin around and have a look at the back before we stand him up. So you can see there's the landing gear. So this is retractable. You can take that in and out. Now moving down the wing. And then we've got the uh, the engine bay at the back, sort of no no reddish glow, but I suppose if you want to customise it, you could easily put a bit of orange in there. And then we've got the back of the cockpit again, has that counterbalance that allows it to swivel. Now one of these is what we actually turn to uh, open and close the wings when we're in flight mode, and I'll show you that. Hopefully, uh, I will have to put the camera down because it's hard to show it with one hand. And then I'll also try and show you the uh, the landing gear as well. So if you bear with me, I'm just going to put the camera down. You can stare at the, uh, the Marvel Select camera characters and while I uh, just do a bit of a standing him up. So here we go. So just to show you, um, sorry, I apologise if this is a bit weird to see. I'll just try and hold it with one hand. You can see here, just by rotating the engine, we can uh, raise and lower the wings of the aircraft. 
so you can uh, pretty much it's pretty good too like you can set it into a position they don't fall down so the actual mechanism is pretty good spinning it around now this button here that's actually what uh, pops out or well, actually sorry uh, retracts in our landing gear so so this one here sorry I got the wrong one if I push that down and pull it back up you can see that the landing gear goes in and out and then the other feature that's fantastic is the swivel. So you can see there our pilot swivels as the plane swivels. Now I know this isn't as impressive because I'm trying to do it with one hand, but if you bear with me or give me the benefit of the doubt, you'll see it working. But uh, as I said, this is a great vehicle. Still trying to figure out how I'm going to display it. I'd like to display it in flight mode, but uh, being the size that it is, uh, it's a little bit tricky. So any ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments section. The other way I had it was uh, sort of like that, but I didn't want to damage the wing putting too much pressure on it. So, as I said, if you've got any ideas, I'd love to hear from them. But other than that, I uh, hope you've enjoyed the review. Thanks for watching. Hope you've uh, checked out the customization that I had done to the Star Wars blasters, especially the Boba Fett one, uh, and checked out Angela's website, my customizer. She's fantastic, did some fantastic work. Uh, and hopefully, you've also checked out the, the Marvel Select reviews I've done as well. So anyway, thanks for watching. Keep subscribing. Cheers.